So guess what? Today I am going to the iconic Bucky's. If you haven't heard of Bucky's, basically, I think it's one of the biggest gas stations slash convenience stores ever to exist. exist. And they have like a franchise of them and the mascot is a beaver. Okay, that is a choice. I have never been to a Bucky's, but people rave about this place. They, they act like it's the best place they've ever been to. So I am expecting the highest levels of environment, quality, food, experience. I'm expecting something that is gonna change me forever. We are gonna taste test a lot of the food that they have there. I know they have a pretty famous pulled pork sandwich and like a brisket sandwich, I think too, and something called like beaver nuggets. Like, <laughs> I am so hyped to try all of it. And of course, we're gonna explore the whole place. Hold on, gotta get over. Oh no, I should have stayed in that lane. What am I doing? I'm gonna miss my exit. Did I mention that I have to drive an hour and 20 minutes to Bucky's. <laughs> I'm in Orlando and Bucky's is in Daytona Beach. Can I get over? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I am I am back in the correct lane. It's a very packed lane, guys. And he let me in. Thank you. Love you. Yeah, so um I am in Orlando and apparently they are building a Bucky's here too, but it's not open yet. Um, and the nearest Bucky's is in Daytona Beach, so I have to drive like an hour and 20 minutes just to try this pulled pork sandwich. It better be amazing. I swear, everything better slay me. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and my whole, and my career, whole career and my, and life, my in life in general. general. So give it a thumbs up no pressure also subscribe if you're new here i make tons of food content restaurant content theme park content and hotel content so it's a great time if you're a foodie and you just love to eat subscribe okay guys that was my intro let's go to bucky's i will see you in like an hour and 20 minutes okay girly so i just got off the highway and bucky's is like right here i can see it it looks huge massive it is honestly serving like Chuck E. cheese vibes like that is how it looks and the logo <laughs> it's a beaver obviously and it's like i'm about to turn i'm excited i'm hungry i haven't eaten anything today and it's 12 12 p.m oh make a wish 12 12 jk 12 12 you will never be 11 11 girly sorry hurry up truck what well, hello we are in an intersection, thank you. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of trees. Bucky's surrounded by trees. Of course, the beavers need a place to live. Oh my God, we're almost in the parking lot. Whoa, there's tons of cars here. Oh my gosh. Go, go girl, come on. Go piss girl. Okay, thank you. I thought it would be empty because it's a Monday. It's a day of work, but it's not. Wow, it's packed. This parking lot's huge though. Oh my God, how is this a gas station? I'm shook, this is gorgeous. There's people parked like on the side of the road. Is there really no parking? Guys, I have never not parked in a parking spot. I'm a new driver, I can't zo the house. And I can't park at a gas pump because I have an electric car. That's like blasphemy, right? Thank you. Oh, what a nice man, he let me go. Okay, people are nice at Bucky's, guys. They're in good moods because there are Bucky's. Hello. God, please help me find a parking spot. Please. Is that part? No. It's just a. Oh, there's a parking spot. Oh my God. A good one, too. Like right up against the building. <laughs> I won. Okay, guys, let's get out and explore. Wow, that was some good luck right there. Okay, guys, look at this parking spot. This is my car. This is Bucky's. <laughs> I love when things go my way. I get what I want. <laughs> so here's the gas pumping area. There are tons of spots. So we love that for all the gassy girlies. This is the front of Bucky's. Oh my God, look. What is this? Bucky's paid weekly. Oh, this is for jobs. Okay, love that. And that's the logo. Is it not just giving all teeth? Love that. This is huge. Huge, massive. The biggest beaver I've ever seen. Oh my God. Let's go in guys, I'm scared. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Whoa. I expected it to be bigger. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, guys, it smells like barbecue in here. What in the world is happening? Look at this, guys. Oh my god look at all this food hold on there's a lot of people oh my god oh 
my god guys it's madness in here so many people so much noise it's actually really intimidating i have to say the vibe is very all american it's very these sunglasses it's very that you know what i mean guys yesterday i bought a camo t-shirt because i was like it looks cute kind of like manly and like different from me so it's kind of cute that's like opposite of me i should have worn it i could have blended in i mean with my little chip nail polish but also like this is kind of giving manly because it's like i don't care that my nails aren't totally painted you know what i mean anyways let's explore some more and then i'm gonna buy tons of food and they have so much food i want to taste test most of it well try not most of it but a lot of it as much as my three stomachs can handle they also have like a lot of like packaged food that is their brand like this pecan brittle you know but then they also have like all the name brand candies and everything bucky's overbite <laughs> they have a lot of bucky's branded candies and cotton candy very cute we got bucky's fudge i think a lot of different flavors of fudge cinnamon rolls cookies coffee a bunch of little treats. Ooh, muffins. Oh my god, so many things. What do I get? I don't even know. There's also Bucky sandwiches, Bucky salads, yogurt parfaits. Bucky laid some eggs for us. We have some, ooh, pudding. Oh, it's like a pudding parfait. I love banana pudding. Oh my god, I might get that. There's some Bucky's merch. I think these are cups and some plates okay he's a star okay so i have heard that these are famous it's like wait these over here it's like bucky's nuggies and it's like a little like nuggets of bucky i don't know there's bucky's hot sauce bucky seasonings barbecue sauce oh my goodness drinks obviously over here we've got the bucky's beef jerky so many flavors lemon pepper bohemian garlic korean barbecue Pepper, turkey, hot and spicy, ghost pepper, cherry, maple, teriyaki, cheeses, sausages. <laughs> we have tacos and burritos. I don't see the tacos, but I see burritos, a bunch of them. And now this is the bakery area. Tons of baked goods. I think that it's the same stuff that was packaged back there, but this is like, I guess, fresher. Now this side of the store seems a lot calmer. It's like clothes and Christmas stuff and a bunch of different things. Okay, so when I first walked into Bucky's, I was like, this is like an overload of everything. There's just so much to see, so much food, so many people. But now, after five minutes, I feel like I belong. I feel like I, I am already used to the vibe and I'm excited to try all the food, but let's just finish exploring first. I am so hungry though. Oh guys, these are the famous beaver nuggets. These are them, not the other thing. I have to try those for sure. Look at these fashion statements, guys. Oh, I love the whole thing. We have a lot of shoes, a lot of sweaters. Okay, now, now I'm a buckier, a, a bucky, a bucky citizen. They also have like stuff for fishing and I think some car stuff. They have everything a man needs, even the pulled pork and the meats. I love it. I have to put this back, but I'm, I don't want to. I might buy it. I don't know. Um, guys, is Bucky an ally? <laughs> yes, sis. Oh my God, he ate that. Well, I guess it's time to eat. I'm gonna go and grab all, all the food that I want. I'm just gonna get anything that looks good and we're gonna taste test all of it in the car. Yay! Here's a better shot of the store. I can't go over there because it's just like full of cars. I don't think it's safe, but look. You can kind of see it. So cool, right? It's huge, guys. Look at this. Look at that. It's like a Walmart. Okay. So I am here in an Arby's parking lot. I did leave Bucky's parking lot because the lighting was horrible and my camera would have gotten overheated because of all the sun. But the meats always deliver Arby's. They got the meats and the shade. Let's see everything I got. But first things first, guys. I got a shirt. <laughs> it's my first time going to Bucky's, so I just, I had to. Do you like it? Look. Oh! Wait. I'm gonna wear it right now as I eat. Oh my god. Uh, do we love it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, it's great. Let me get my table out. I'm so hungry, guys. I got so many things. So, first things first, I got a soda, obviously. This is Diet Bucky's. Cola. Okay, this is Bucky branded cola. Let's try it. Mm. 
tastes just like Diet Coke. <laughs> it isn't as like sharp as like McDonald's Diet Coke. It's more like a basic Diet Coke, but it's fine. Anyways, they're not iconic for it, I don't think, right? So it doesn't matter. So we got the Beaver Nuggets. I think this is like a caramel corn type thing. At least that's what it looks like, right? Okay. And then I got some beef jerky. I chose cherry maple because I love cherry flavored meats. They always taste good, legit. So I got this, it was $9 though, but beef jerky is typically expensive. It's just how it is, right? And then I got a beef burrito. So warm and nice. Fuck it. A peach cobbler. I'm salivating. That looks so good. It's super hot too, guys. Super fresh. And of course, I got the pulled pork barbecue sandwich. They're iconic for this, so I had to. And I also got the chopped brisket sandwich. I love brisket. As long as it's not too fatty. I can't do a lot of cartilage and fat. I can't do it. Oh, the girl gave me napkins. I didn't even know. This is so nice. Queen. I got some chocolate fudge. Even though I'm not a big fudge person, apparently their fudge is iconic. So I had to try it, right? And last but not least, I got the banana pudding. Yay! So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items plus a soda. Okay! And she gave me a spoon for my pudding too. Thank you, Queen. Let me just say, it was so packed, but there was no line to pay whatsoever. I just walked up and I paid. I was like, what? Anyways, first things first. Let me sanitize my hands. Not sponsored by wet ones. It's not for real. Okay, first things first, let's try the beaver nuggets. Uh, uh. Ooh, smells like doge de leche. Smells like caramel. Mmm. 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 It's. Mmm. Oh, yeah, shivers. It's pretty much caramel popcorn, but this isn't popcorn. What is this? Like a little, like a little Cheeto type thing, but sweet. Mmm. Very crunchy. I think it tastes better than caramel popcorn because the caramel here has a lot of depth to it. You can really taste the butter. It almost tastes like brown butter. Mmm. And there's some saltiness in there too. Mmm. Mmm. This is like caramel popcorn's hot sister. I gotta stop. So good. Mmm. By the way, I spent like $70. <laughs> I was like, whoa, and um, I didn't get the receipt, so I just wasn't looking at prices. I was overwhelmed and excited, so it happens. Let me find them. Mmm, <laughs> I can't stop, I can't stop. It's so crunchy, but also light at the same time. These are amazing. I'm gonna eat the whole bag right now. Let me slow down, I have a lot to eat. These are a 10 out of 10. I'm sugar. one more, one more. Last one. Okay. Who would have thought a beaver's nuggets would taste so good? Next up, let's try the cherry maple beef jerky. Woo! That smells like a big sausage. That, oh my God. It smells good though, just not what I expected. Oh, it's very sweaty in the bag. The bag is like wet, okay. <sighs> this poor cow, the heat is getting to him. You know, it's not bad, but this tastes like any old typical beef jerky. Like, you know, like the mainstream brand in the red packaging? I forget the name. It's just like that. It's like a nice little sweet beef jerky moment, but it doesn't taste like cherry or maple. It just tastes like slightly sweet, slightly tangy, plain old beef jerky. Even the quality feels like one of those really processed beef jerkies. I expected more from Mr. Beaver. I really did. Everyone talks about the beef jerky. I'm... Hmm. Maybe I just chose the wrong flavor, but right now this is giving mediocrity. Basic. 
forgettable, unimportant. I'll save this for Alejandro. <laughs> I feel like it. I'm gonna give this cherry maple leaf jerky, I think, oh, three out of 10. Just very disappointing, very basic. I've had better beef jerkies from very mainstream brands. Wow, so we started high and we've gone a little low, but you know what? When they go low, you go high. JK, you go lower and you stomp on them. I'm just kidding. Okay, next up, let's try the iconic pulled pork sandwich. While it's still nice and hot, which it is. Oh, it's $7, wow. I expect a little cheaper. Maybe because it's a gas station, I expect it cheaper, but at the same time, it is like more of an iconic realm than a gas station, you know? It's like, it's its own tourist attraction, so I can see why the prices would be a little higher. Let's see. Oh, wow, that looks very porky. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. That smells amazing. Hello, Mr. Pig. Guys, we have the whole farm here today. Beavers, pigs, cows, ostriches, AKA meeks. I have three stomachs. Okay. This is how it looks up close. Oh, that sound. Okay, I think it's just pork and that's it. There's no pickles, nothing. Wait, are you on the bottom? Nope, nothing, just pork. Pork and sauce, that's fine. Wait, thumbnail. <laughs> mm. Hello. Mm. Oh my God, I can't stop. almost fell okay okay that is delicious delicious now the flavor is very simple this is not the most elaborate pulled pork sandwich out there but it knows what it is it knows that it's just a simple sandwich and i love that the pork feels like high quality i didn't taste any fat any bones any nastiness in there it was just pure delicious perfectly cooked pulled pork and the barbecue sauce is smoky tangy a little bit sweet, but it's not too strong. A lot of pulled pork sandwiches can like have so much barbecue sauce on them and then it's just like, it's just too much. This is not, this is the perfect amount and it just balances out the pork perfectly. It's moist, but it's not soaking and I love that. Mmm. 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 The bun is real soft. Buttery full like a raspa. So overall, High quality pork, perfect amount of barbecue sauce, and a good bun. That is all you need. The flavor is not super exciting or unique, but it's just a strong pulled pork sandwich. I have zero complaints. I am giving that a nice strong nine out of 10. Very good, did not disappoint, Bucky's. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest of the sandwich for Alejandro, because I can't eat all of it right now. Anyways, now let's try the banana pudding. I got the small. So it seems to have some, are those Nilla wafers? I think that those are Nilla wafers in there. Probably some banana pieces in there too. Has some whipped cream. Okay. So far so good. Besides the beef jerky, Buggy has kind of ate. Okay, this is full to the rim, literally. Look at this. That is completely full. Get your full money's worth. This was $4, okay. So let's dig in. Ooh, oh, <gasps> creamy. Oh my god, yeah. Hello. I'm nervous. Oh, it smells so good. Let's try it. Oh! Come on, Teletubbies, teleport us to Mars. Oh my god. How's the whipped cream by itself? Let's see. Iconic. Oh my god, oh my god. How am I gonna stop myself from eating this whole thing? I don't know, guys. Mm. There's a banana. Banana. Minions. <laughs> The 
this is some of the best banana pudding I've ever had. This is the pudding I've always wanted. The pudding I've always dreamed of. Let me slow down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So, let me just say, the pudding itself is giving subtle, just like the sandwich. A lot of banana puddings can be either too sweet or too banana-y. You know, that like fake banana extract flavor. How do you extract flavor from a banana? Can you, do you milk it? It doesn't taste too banana-y. It's a very light banana. And the pudding itself is just that perfect, fresh pudding texture. It doesn't taste like um like a little processed jello cup. It tastes like good pudding, you know? And then the Nilla wafer cookies got totally cakey, totally moist, and oh my God, there are just so many of them in the pudding cup that every bite just feels like a cakey banana-y moment, right? Now the little banana pieces also tasted fresh as well. We love that. And the whipped cream on top didn't taste like Cool Whip or like any, any trashy whipped cream. It tasted like good whipped cream. Truly one of the best banana puddings I've ever had because overall it wasn't too sweet. This is perfection. 10 out of 10. Buckies, what is happening? Next up, let's try the chopped brisket sandwich, okay? Let's see guys. This one's $8.49. And I do get that because I know that brisket's expensive. You know, any, any of those smoked meats are expensive, like ribs and all that. Okay. Ooh, this one looks messier. What a gorgeous, rich color that has. Does it not? Okay. This one just has brisket and barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce looks a little more orange. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but it looks good. Let's try it. It's kind of chewy brisket. I think that Mr. Bucky knows how to make pork. When it comes to cow, he's like, cow who? The jerky was underwhelming, and this is also underwhelming. I don't love this. I think, and this one does have too much barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is like, there's a lot of it. It's too tangy almost. But I think that the main issue here is the brisket itself. While it does taste like high quality, it tastes like real meat, not like processed, you know, frozen meat. It's extremely chewy. I feel like brisket should be more, you know, fall apart vibes, fall off the bone. And this is just giving like a cow that was like, girl, I'm tough. I'm a tough cow. And then the meat was tough, you know? Also, it has that almost fake like smoke extract, smoke essence flavor to it. That just doesn't taste like genuine smoke to me. It tastes like fake smoke. Am I making sense? Arby's, right back here, their rib sandwich has, has the exact same fake smoke flavor that I really don't like. And I really think that that should be banned from the world. That fake smoke extract, it just, it tastes bad. It doesn't taste authentic. It doesn't taste like smoked wood. It tastes like artificial wood from a factory, you know? So I don't like the texture. Don't love the flavor. Is it disgusting? No. If someone served this to me and, and said, oh, and said, I have been cooking this meat all day. Here's your sandwich. Enjoy it. I would eat it to be polite, but I would not buy this again, ever. Like my like mouth tastes like a fake forest right now. I'm not even joking. Do not approve. Sorry, Bucky. I have to give the brisket sandwich. Ooh. I think a three out of 10 could be a lot better. Let me save this too. Compared to the pulled pork sandwich, it's night and day. I definitely recommend the pulled pork sandwich if you go to Bucky's, not the brisket, at least in my opinion. Oh, by the way, guys, yesterday, <laughs> I had a moment. So 
As most of you know, I, I have a stutter. I was born with it. And I have been in speech therapy for the past year and, and it's gotten so much better because I just learned so many breathing techniques, all that stuff. Well, over the past couple months, my speech therapist has been gone, but they're coming back soon, thankfully. Um, and I have been trying to maintain my speech on my own, but I, I have gotten lazy and I stopped practicing my techniques when it when it came to like day-to-day -day conversations with like Alejandro, things like that, I just stopped practicing. I feel like I just fell into some old habits. And it's not like it's as bad as it was, but it's just like, I just, I have to tighten up all my techniques. I have to tighten up my skills, you know? And because of that, for the past couple weeks, I've been extra nervous about my stutter. But, you know, when I get stuck, I can get out of it in like a second or like at most two seconds. But before speech therapy, sometimes I would get stuck for like 10 seconds and it was really bad. I would totally tense it up and it would look like I was having some, some like sort of like a moment where, where like, I'm just like super tense. I'm glitching. I'm just trying to get the word out like this, things like that. Well, yesterday I was at Publix and I was trying to order myself a wrap and I wanted to try this pepper house gourmets on my wrap. And I was already nervous about ordering. But anyways, when I tried to ask for pepper house gourmets, the word pepper house wouldn't come out. I was like, and typically when that happens, I'll just pause, take a deep breath, and then say it again, and I'll get out of it in like two seconds. This time, I panicked, and I could not focus on the techniques, and I was stuck standing there for at least five seconds. And to you, that might sound like, oh, Timmy, it's just five seconds. Well, no, because it is five seconds of me with my eyes closed going like this, <laughs> and so when people don't know what is going on, they're like, is he okay? Like, like what's happening to him? And I just couldn't get out of it. And I, I, I got lost in the stutter and I lost total focus and I was just stuck there. And Alejandro was so wonderful and felt so bad for me because he, he hasn't seen me do this in like over a year like you know get like stuck stuck to where it's like really bad anyways after like a good five seconds of glitching i opened my eyes and i um said to the girl i was like i'm sorry i have a stutter just so that she would know what was going on and then i paused i took a deep breath and i said pepper house gourmets <laughs> and it was all for some mayonnaise that wasn't even that good it wasn't and the thing is is that for you it might seem like that's not a big deal to me like i'm sure that the girl didn't care blah blah, blah but for me, it really affected me mentally yesterday. And I really felt so down the whole day because I just hadn't felt that that stuck in like a year. And it really just kind of crushed my confidence for the day. But today I am feeling a lot better. And last night I made it a point to practice my techniques. I like read this long story type thing out loud using all of my techniques and I'm gonna keep on doing that until I feel a little more confident again because I I have been neglecting my own speech and, and I just wanna keep the momentum. Anyways, enough rambling, I'm sorry guys. Next up, let's try the peach cobbler. Thank you for listening to me, it always feels so good to vent these things out to you guys. It actually feels like I'm like writing in a diary and it's like releasing it out into the world and I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm so. Let's open up the peach cobbler. Ooh! I love any kind of cobbler, any kind of crumble, any kind of crumb, you know? Anything that's that's in that um, category. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Oh my God. Oh! Hello! <laughs> I got shivers. I got shivers on my face. I have shivers again. Oh my god. Guys. <sighs> Look at that peach. This is the best peach cobbler I've had in my life. Whoa. Cut the cameras, girl. I can't stop. I'm getting full. Help! 
Last bite. Mm. Close it! Quick! Okay. That's the best peach cobbler I've ever had in my life. Wow. And it's from a gas station? From a beaver's house? You don't understand. First of all, the peaches underneath don't taste canned. They don't taste trashy. That is a good peach cobbler sauce moment. And it's not too sweet. It's a little bit tangy. It is so sticky and glazy. Amazing peaches underneath. But the cobbler on top is next level first of all it melts in your mouth completely it isn't dusty or or really even crumbly it's almost like a hot custard that just melts away and it has this really ultra buttery flavor and it's a little bit salty too which adds so much to the peaches it is just incredible it really like i said melts in your mouth that is fabulous fantastic 10 out of 10. That is my favorite thing that I ate today. Let me just say, so far, Bucky's knows how to do desserts. The banana pudding in this, wow. Ah! Let's try the beef burrito. By the way, do you guys wanna do some of my techniques with me? So I know that some of you that watch me have a stutter also, and this might help you like a little bit. So this is one of the techniques. You take a deep breath, but like in your belly, not your chest, because it's just less less tension there. And then you talk as you exhale. And the breathing relaxes all the words. Period. Period! And then also, adding pauses can also help. So you can say, I've had a very good day. And if you do that with the breathing, so you're like... Hello, my name is Timmy. It just, like, the exhale just keeps going. It kind of, like, breaks it up. It just makes it last longer, too. So those are some of my techniques. But when I get nervous, I just, it all goes out the window. When I'm calm, I can speak literally fluently. But the nerves really just take over, and I'm just, like, I just, like, forget everything. And I just get tense. I'm, like, Ugh. I'm trying to force the words out instead of relaxing and breathing them out. Anyways, uh, sorry, enough about that, enough about that. I just felt like it, it would be fun to do. Okay, let's try this beef burrito. They also had like a, um, a Philly cheesesteak burrito and a chicken burrito, but I'm a, I'm a beefy kind of boy. Okay, this is it. Mmm! Tastes like Taco Bell! <laughs> a lot! They put a lot of cheese in there. Mm. Wow, so much beef and cheese. I think this also has refried beans. Yeah, it does. I think it's just simple. I think it's just like refried beans, meat, and cheese, but it's not bad. Mm. I'm so full. I'm going to save this, but... Mm. Girlies. So, the meat tastes almost exactly like Taco Bell. And I'm not exaggerating, it really tastes like Taco Bell seasoned beef. And, you guys know me, I love Taco Bell seasoned beef. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I could drink it, because it's basically a paste, you have to drink it. It's a very simple burrito, but the meat has so much flavor that it does carry it. The refried beans tasted simple, just like any old refried beans. I mean, I think I got like a little bit of them, but, but I'm not a lot, I'm just too full, guys, I'm sorry, I can't. But I think they were fine. And the cheese added a lot of saltiness. And the tortilla tasted really nice and warm and kind of like a little stretchy, you know what I'm talking about? I love when a tortilla is a little bit stretchy it's a good simple burrito it isn't like authentic and it isn't like gourmet but if you just want a nice heavy beefy beanie moment that is the burrito for you i am not mad at that for a gas station burrito i'm giving that a nice strong eight out of ten it is very simple it's just beans and meat now let's try this fudge it was almost four dollars for this little square I'm not a fudgy person. I think fudge is way too rich. So if I don't like it, it might not be Bucky's fault. It's just that I'm not into fudge. And this is very dense, guys. It's very thick. It's like it's like a square of clay, okay? I'm, I'm gonna take very small bites. <laughs> oh, it's sweet! The sweetness really kicks in after the first few seconds. We 
we can save that. We can save that for later. Um, oh, it's so sweet. To me, that fudge tastes exactly like chocolate cake frosting, but like the kind that comes in the tub, like the pre-made kind, but just like a lot thicker. So it has the texture of clay with the flavor of super, super sweet processed chocolate cake frosting. So I'm not mad at that. I don't think it's disgusting. It's just too much for me personally. And I do love chocolate cake frosting in a thin layer on a cake. I don't like eating it by itself. Do you get me? And to me, that just felt like I was eating frosting by itself. That is not attractive to me. That is not the lifestyle I wanna live. Yet, I would eat cream cheese by itself or sour cream with a spoon. So I'm not much better than a frosting eater, but <laughs> it's just not for me. It wasn't made for me. So I'm gonna have to give the fudge for fudge? A nice five out of 10. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I just don't like fudge, but anyways, guys, the video is over. I flew through all those Bucky's items. I am thoroughly impressed with the pork sandwich, the peach cobbler, these, the beaver nuggets, and the banana pudding. I think those were my top four items. So I am very pleased with, with Bucky's. Once the Orlando location opens, I'm gonna make a lot more Bucky content, like a 24 hour challenge, all that type of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, have you been to Bucky's? If you have, what did you get? And if you haven't, which item looked the best to you, okay? Give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye guys. Mwah.